Hey guys, welcome back to Tommy Legends. I'm once again, thank you for stopping by. Right, so it's the next installment of my collection display video. So this is phase two, which is now finished. Now, before I show you this, if anyone's new and this is the first time you've seen this and you want to know what cabinet shelving, brackets and all lighting, all that stuff, jump into the description of this video and I'll put the first video I did in the description with a link to it and all that information's on that. Um, I don't want all the comments of this videos to me keep typing the same thing out, so I've really put all that detailed information in that video. Right, so as I say, this is phase two. Um, we've put one extra cabinet in and we've made changes now and um, it's it's pretty much finished now and I'm super happy with it. Um, considering it's only one extra cabinet that's gone in, the difference now is it's immense. Right, let's nip downstairs and I'll show you what I've done. Right then, let's get into this. So, the first thing that's changed since you last saw it, the truck has had a move around with the 801. And that's because, because of how the 801 fits, it has to go across two cabinets. And I was losing about four or five inch at the back. So I've swapped those round. So we've obviously got the truck, now the 801. And what that's allowed is me to fit the trike in there now, taking up no space whatsoever. So I'm really happy with that. And then next up is the motors, which you've pretty much seen. So there's nothing new in that lot. But in this one, I think the Orion SV was missing because it was in a car. This mega motor, Kyosho, that's just a rebadged stock motor that I've done. And so is this team stock, uh, just for display purposes. But massive shout out to Nab if you're watching. He kindly donated these two motors to my collection, which are just absolutely awesome vintage brush motors. And that just looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'm done with that now. I don't, I've, got, I've got no more motors coming and I'm just over the moon with that. Right, the three touring cars that you saw in this display last time have now moved out, which has now allowed me to fit my Super Astute back in. Also my DB01 Durga's in place and of course my stunning egress. So I'm really chuffed to have those back in place. Now, um, the touring cars were on the shelf below, so they take up more space. So now that's allowed me to add an extra shelving. And now we've got my 3D printed car in there. And I've, I've said it on many videos, this is one of my most prized possessions. I just think that thing is absolutely gorgeous. Right, a new addition is my lunchbox. How good does that look? Next to the Monster Beetle. Very happy with that. So that's new. I've now got that Samantha Ray, the Revive RC body set is now in position. The MS DTO2 MS is back in position. And then just skipping up, just in case you haven't seen it, that's my new Revive RC Top Force body set I did in jet black. It's a lot of glare, unfortunately. But that thing is just gorgeous. And then moving on, that's the new home, full-time home for the XR311. And then above it, we have my gorgeous 959, which is now in position. Um, so yeah, really happy with that new section. Right, and then finally the cars that I've added to this collection. So the Falcon's now in position. My 80s Tribute Hornet is now there. <laughs> Love that thing. Terra Scorch is now in position. That looks ace. And the MRC Santana, which is one of my favourite looking vintage RC cars, non-Tamiya cars. That just looks gorgeous. And then just below it, we've got my TTO2B project performance, which you might have seen the videos of. And below that, we've got one space left. And that's going to be for the Avante, Super Avante TD4. Right, so the overall effect we have... Let's try to get it all in camera. It's basically that. And that is just absolutely awesome. Obviously, we'll get that one extra car in, and then this section's completely finished. And I hope you agree. I just think that is absolutely outstanding. And then just to give you a sneak peek of what phase three is going to be, it's going to be the on-road cars. Of which we've now got quite a few done. Lambo. So yeah, <laughs> really excited to get that with that stage three finished. 
So that's phase two complete. Now, next instalment, phase three. Oh my God, it's it's massive. It's a huge change. And uh, to say I'm excited about it is the understatement of the year. I don't want to give too much away, but it's basically, it's all the touring cars, all the on-road cars are going into position. Um, the way I'm going to do it with what I've got already should look absolutely, I'm hoping, mind-blowing. Um, so as I'm making this video, all those parts are here. It's ready to do now. Um, and I think I've got enough touring cars to basically fill what I'm going to do, which is just going to be awesome. So my friends, hope you enjoyed that. Um, if this is the first time you've stumbled across one of my videos, if you could maybe consider giving this video a thumbs up, then go ahead hit that subscribe button. And if you do that, you might as well smash that notification bell as well for our notifications of our weekly videos. That'd be awesome. So my friends, happy RCing. Mm -hmm.